Darkness will still take down Nye. But now, can they deal with Skeeter? 33 is at the side of Skeeter trying to help out. It's a lot of physical BGM damage. There's Totem Controls there. BZM's out of the game. So is Yoragi. There's the stun up again for left. Skeeter. He's, he's going down for sure. DM cannot save him. Tundra cleaning up. And OG, they're running out of options, T. They literally went for one mid, Brax, and lost... The entire game, it feels like. Ooh. I mean, 33 is just casually killing them off. I mean, you're already right. sure. Ooh. My goodness, he was ready to go for more. No annoying missiles being thrown their way. As uh, Saxa, hit him with a jump. Oh, we'll be able to be. Managed to get him underneath the towers here. You're oh, no. able to get the BKB off, and he'll stand his ground. Heal up with the Satanic. No, no. He deposits the BKB himself, but he can't, cannot stand his ground against this Terra Blade. Juragi turns his attention over towards Knight, but Knight getting a good shield crash. You have a lot of damage protection. In fact, the stuns are up there over towards Juragi. Juragi's out, and so is BZM. They get the kills, they defend the base, they clean up Tiger as well on the way out. OG, they get completely shut down on that attempt to push for the barracks. They don't get the racks. They lose four heroes, and two of them, T, they're, they're still out without buyback. Uh, Tiger and BZM, they're gone for over a minute. They made that push at a time where yeah, their own buyback still on cooldown for about 30 to 50 seconds. They don't have them here. Tundra's just going to come straight running at the base, and, the and base with those two fall? heroes gone, that Tundra's going to be able to do more damage to the base of OG than OG was able to do to them. Yeah, I mean, they got Wraith Factor. Uh. Yeah. Uh.